This is a 36-year-old man with a right C7 radiculopathy from a 6-7 disc herniation. The patient was precision prone in Mayfield pins, um, and we used the robotic scope for the entirety of this case. After a standard right side superior osseal muscle dissection, the right C67 level was confirmed, and we started a laminectomy um, using a matchstick drill, identifying a ligament and flavum, and progressively moving laterally to the facet joint. The idea was to thin out the uh, bone as thin as possible, um, and to ensure that uh, the epidural venous plexus were not violated. Here we have the diamond drill, uh, drilling again the superior articular process of C7. We then proceeded to drill down into the pedicle of C7, um, which is ventral to the C7 nerve root. Uh, often there is some bleeding from the cancellous bone of the C7 pedicle. Um, we now proceeded even more uh, deeply and medially uh, ventral to the spinal cord. Um, and you can see now that uh, just to the right of the drill, the bone is very thin and the epidural venous plexus is just seen. Using a small curette, um, the residual bone uh, is removed. Uh, the bone is very thinned out at this portion um, and uh, we now are coagulating the epidural venous plexus. Often there is quite a lot of bleeding from the, uh, the, the venous plexus just superficial to the dura. We incise the epidural venous plexus with a number 15 blade in a um, cranial caudal direction and extended that laterally along the nerve root sleeve. It is important at this point to identify both the dorsal and ventral rootlets of C7 and the dissector here is dissecting just inferior to the motor uh, root of C7. The disc herniation was revealed and using a small blunt hook, the, this fragment was encouraged uh, out below the axilla of the C7 nerve root. A deco uh, pituitary rondure was used to retrieve this uh, disc fragment. And a smaller fragment was also retrieved. The C7 nerve root has now been completely decompressed. Uh, the patient had no further radicular pain postoperatively. It was discharged day two. Uh, he's made an excellent recovery. Thanks for watching.